performed 10 rapid in Indonesia from uh, representing Miranda Jimmy Dusman. His opponent is world number 15 in the world, Jeffrey Duna from Philippines. And the one of you, he is world number 3 and defending champion from Chinese Taipei, Go PD. His opponent is ranked 132 in the world from Philippines, Anton Rada. And the one number 1, he is two-time Golden Rake champion from Chinese Taipei, Go PD. His opponent is world 120 in the world from Philippines, Short shot by Kopeyi. It wants to be a combination. Great shot in the corner. It's 
just got another difficult shot. He might have to play safe or he might as well bank this ball. that uh, bank shot. Anton is lucky to be back on the table. I think uh, Kofi is feeling the pressure. Just lucky. Now leads by one rack. Sir Coppin is checking very well. It's a race to nine. We're now on the uh, round of 16. So there will be uh, two games for every player for today. And tomorrow will be the semifinals and final round, which will be played in the beautiful arena created by Mr. Lim.
Sir Coping, he played really very bad yesterday. He had so much illegal break. And this time he's making sure that he does it right. Making sure that uh, he has three balls on the head string. Not to, make, not to commit an illegal break. The key of this game is the challenge of this new rule about illegal break. Almost every player, just like Carlo Biado, lost to uh, Mr. Puay of the Philippines. Only, all, only due because of this uh, illegal break. They're making nine ball more challenging. Soft break is out of the question. Thing is, he couldn't uh, actually see the two here, the blue two. And it's going to be a difficult combination shot by our former number one world champion. He might as well hide the blue two. Unless, of course, he wants to do a combination, which is not really uh, possible. It's a very difficult combination if he does it. I think he's going to play safe. He's going to probably hide the cue ball using the five. Yes, he hides the white ball using the five. And now, Anton Raga will have a difficult time hitting the blue two. He needs uh, two or three rails to be able to get to the blue two. And hopefully, um, he hits it well or else this table will open up for our former number one champion. Okay, it's ball in hand for the former number one. It's Kopi Nhi. He should make a run out here. pocketing now by Mr. Copigny. He's going to cut this on the corner. And that's one rail. In line on the corner. Four balls left. Fantastic draw shot. And... He can see this brown seven. Side pocket. It's going to be one all with Anton breaking on the next rock. According to my executive producer, we're live right now. We are live on which uh, channel? Are we on? We're on Batang Tirador right now. Oh, you're so lucky. We were able to uh, get a good signal, so we're live right now.
expecting this. And uh, Eric Mendoza was telling me, no, sir, we're live right now. Okay. So we're, you're watching this live from Golden Break here in Malaysia with Anton Raga on the table. Let's find out whether he can sink. The wing ball, which is the uh, red three on the corner. Oh, he bumped the three. The three was going to the wing pocket, but was bumped. He was lucky that he was able to at least pocket one ball. Now, the thing is, he's got a long shot here on the yellow one. Anton can cut this. He's got a good pair of eyes. He's 19 years old. He has beaten two former world champions, Thorsten Homan, Mika Imonen, and now he wants to add Kopenyi as part of his collection. So he's going to cut this on the corner. Wow, great shot by Anton. Now he's got a difficult angle on the two. But I'm sure he can still cut it. We only have one camera angle here. I'm sure he can still uh, cut that uh, two on the corner. It's quite difficult. Or he might... He might do a defensive shot. Oh, Anton Raga cutting that ball on the corner. a chance for a run out pink four on the corner and he's gonna work on the five by doing three rails fantastic pocketing there by Antonio and he was able imagine that he was able to do three rails and now he's right on the orange five for a corner shot. Oh, what a miss by Anton. How could have how could he have missed that shot? Uh, giving uh company a difficult cut here on the corner. He can also bank it. I'm sure he will decide to uh, cut this on the corner. He's got to cut it really thin. He's thinking twice, thrice, four times. He's playing with a 19-year-old neophyte with no ranking yet in the world pool. And he was successful on that cut. This guy is a veteran in pool. So far, so good. Last two balls on this race to nine, alternate break, with the illegal break making it more difficult to so many players. Just like Anton, he had an illegal break on the first rack. 
and he was just lucky he was able to do a comeback Chinese Taipei, or we can call them pool players from Taiwan, is now leading 2-1. Two racks against one by the Philippines, represented by Anton Raga. Let's take a break. Hot there, commercial break. Yesterday, he had so many problems on illegal break, which is the new rule now in pool. You have to have three balls crossing the head string unless one of them sinks on the pocket. Yes, he gets the wing ball, the the pink four. Yes, good legal break. Oh, what happened there? What happened there? Huh? Did he get the golden break? Huh? He got the golden break. All right, my eyes are so poor that I didn't realize he was able to pocket the golden break here at the eighth golden break in Malaysia. First golden break by uh, Kopini, former number one in the world. Are we pausing for another Mac Dermot commercial? will be available soon in the Philippines. to the live action Philippines Anton Raga is now trailing by two racks against the world champion wow good pocketing on that corner pocket he knows how to cut that ball and he knows how to control that shot and it's a legal break you can see so many balls past the head string. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the right angle for the yellow one. Not really sure if the orange five is blocking its way. Yes, Anton is thinking. He's thinking well whether he should go for it or do another defensive shot. Oh, he's doing a push out. This is another challenge for the world champion. And if he doesn't like it, he can always 
bring it back to Anton. And now let's see if he's going to accept the challenge. Very, very humble player. I've met this man two days ago. He speaks English and he's, he can understand as long as you speak slowly. And we'll be inviting him over to the Philippines together with his brother to play against the best pair of the Philippine team. It's going to be Team Taiwan or Team Taipei against Team Philippines. Is he going to take it or give it back? Oh, he's giving it back to Anton. Oh, Anton was able to hide that one. So I think this is going to be a, a hide and seek tournament. Can Kopini see the one? Uh, we don't have enough cameras. We can see so well whether our uh, former number one champion can see the one or is he going to hide it? I think he's going to hide the ball. I don't think he can, he can see the one clearly. It's uh, being blocked by the green six. Oh, he can see the one. Wow. That was a great shot. Why did it take him so long to hit it? He could actually see the one. Maybe he was thinking how he can get to the blue two. Oh, he's going for the corner. Please bear with us. We don't enough. We don't have enough budget. We can't afford a professional commentator. We can't afford multiple cameras. So please stop complaining. If you don't like the video, just turn it off. Or we can block you. If you say bad anything bad, we will automatically block you. We're just doing this for passion. So please bear with us. On the other table, we see there uh, Jeffrey De Luna, co also competing for the round of 16. This is a very interesting match. Can Anton Raga beat another world champion? We don't have a shot clock here, so they can actually take their time. Oh, he went for the combination. Oh, and he went for the two. Unbelievable pocketing by the world number one player. He went for the combination and he was able to pocket the two. Great shot by Kopinyi. Pausing for another Mark Dermot commercial. Mark Dermot will be soon be available in the Philippine market starting next month.
Four one. Kopini leads by three racks. It's a good break by Kopini and balls are well spread. A little problem on the one, but if he sinks the one, it's going to be, uh, looks like another run out here. Kopini is really taking much time. We don't have a shot clock, and he's entitled to make sure that he plans carefully his next move. It's not just pocketing the object ball. He's looking ahead. Is he going to hide this? Oh, yes, he goes for the side. Again, we can see so clearly due to the angle of a single camera. And oftentimes we can make a mistake. Unlike the professional uh, people who can do a uh, top shot and they can see the angle so clearly. Here we're just using a single camera. He's got a shot on the corner. And how he prepares for the three is what we're looking for. Yes, he does one rail. can sense that Kopini is feeling the pressure against this 19-year-old boy from the Philippines. Cutting this on the corner, preparing for the six. He goes down. And look at that cue ball control. If he made a mistake, it, he could have been covered by the nine. What a fantastic cue ball control by this guy. That's why he's been always on the top ten in WPA. Look at him. He's really concentrated. And he pockets the last ball. This guy is a real tournament player. Never plays gambling. Yes, he only wants to play tournament. Unlike most of the Filipinos, they want to play a gambling game. So let's pause for another um, commercial and we'll be back.
Okay, it's a legal break by Antoine. Remember, this is a very challenging rule that you have to have at least three balls on the, past the head string. Now, if you sink one ball, you, need, you still need two balls to pass the head string. From my camera angle, okay, he can see the two. I can sense he can see the two. Oh, wow. Look at that shot. Is he going to be lucky? Oh, he said, sorry, sorry, Mr. Copigny. I was lucky. I was lucky. That was a key shot. That was a key shot by Anton. Getting that luck. He needs more luck to be able to win this and make Copigny as part of his, of his collection, beating the third world champion. He has beaten Mika Imonen and Thorsten Oman. Now he needs Copigny to be part of his collection. And he gets to the corner. However, it's going to be a difficult climb for Anton because of the uh, alternate break. If this was a winner's break, he could have a better chance. Well, I'm Ton is still fighting. Brown seven on the corner. He wants to lessen the lead and get to 5-2 against Copigny from Chinese Taipei. He's going to be down by three racks on a race to nine. Anton from the Philippines, 19 year old, Batang Tirador. Pause for another commercial break. The only chance for Ton to do a comeback is for Mr. Copigny to commit an illegal break. Just like what happened to him yesterday. Another illegal break. They're making pool a very complicated sport. Imagine a world champion committing so many illegal breaks, just like Carlo Biado yesterday losing to Val Pawai. That illegal break will spell a big difference among the good players and the bad players. They can always do an upset. Imagine. Legal break, giving the other guy an opportunity to get back to the table. I think Anton can see the one on the corner, but he's taking a lot of time, which is good. So he can prepare for the two. Oh, 
oh, he can't see the one. Just like me, I can't see it on my angle. We're using one camera, <clears throat> and now he wants the one to be blocked by the nine. Okay, the world champion, the former world champion, is taking his time. If he can see it, it's a difficult shot. And if he cannot see it, maybe he'll do a defensive shot and hide the one and hide the cue ball, maybe using the nine. Crucial rock for Anton. If Anton makes this, he'll be breaking next. And he will have a chance. Yes, he wanted to hide it with the nine. Yes. And he was pretty successful on that. This now is a crucial shot for Anton. He's quite lucky that the one is almost near the pocket. But if he makes a mistake here, it's going to be a shoe sure run out by Copigny. And that's going to be a big disaster for Anton. Oh, the 19-year-old Anton was able to sink that difficult shot. And now, he will have a chance to have a comeback. He needs to sink uh, seven more balls, and he'll be breaking next. Hopefully, he doesn't commit an illegal break. I've been observing Anton Raga. Once you get him on fire, he'll be a player to reckon with, very difficult to beat. Again, I'm coughing too much smoke in a pool room and, not, and I'm not a smoker myself. So I wish they put up a smoking room. So I guess this is going to be easy pocketing for Anton. No problem balls. Four on the corner. And now, he has to be very careful on the remaining balls. He cannot commit another mistake. Or Kopenyi will eat him alive. Yes, he's running the cue ball well. Putting enough gasoline. I think he's going to do one rail here. To get to the eight. Yes, he has a one rail shot. And probably even wants to do a two rail shot. Wow. The young boy from the Philippines. Is now going to be up by one more rack. So the score will be 5-3, and Kopeny is still on the lead. We'll have another McDermott commercial break, which will be available soon in the Philippines.
Okay, we're back here live on the eighth Golden Break tournament here in Malaysia with Anton on the table. He needs to do a legal break to be able to do a comeback. Oh, wow. He's being covered. One is covered. And Anton is not happy on that. He's not smiling. That was really uh, a good break, but a lucky shot for him to have no uh, angle on the two. Most important is that he doesn't commit a foul here. At least be able to um, hit that one on the rail. Oh, he's doing a push. Good decision by Anton. And most probably, Kopeni will give it back to him. I don't think Kopeni will gamble this shot. I'm sure he's going to give it back to Anton. Still studying it properly. He's taking his time. We don't have a shot clock, so his uh, strategy is just right. Oh, see, I was right at all. He, he didn't want to take it. He's giving it back to Anton. But I think the Antonus, the, the push of Anton is not that good that if he has to take it, he could commit another error. It's a difficult push by Anton, not giving him enough space to uh, pocket this one. Now, let's see the skill of Anton, how he can move around the cue ball, at least hide it. Okay, it's a good shot. Oh, perfect. Perfect shot by Anton. Batang Tirador is responsible for doing the live stream till finals. That is tomorrow. We will be covering in the famous arena built by Mr. Lim. And make sure you have all the time to watch pool and enough batteries. Might as well watch it on a big screen. Tomorrow will be the semis and the finals. Today is the uh, round of 16 and quarterfinals. So if Anton wins here he's got one more game he hits the ball can he hide it oh, he was able to uh, hit it and now it's a good defensive shot by Copigny giving uh, Anton a big headache he's gonna do a one rail shot to be able to get to the one <coughs> Is he going to sink it? Is he going to hide it? Is he going to give it away? Oh, he gives it away to Kopeny. What a poor shot by Anton. can't fool around with the world champion Anton has to be very very careful with his choice shots he gave one ball to Kopigny and now he might even lose the rack wow this guy is really an excellent player together with, with his brother they don't play with other 
with alternate break, it's going to be quite difficult for Anton to make a comeback unless they change the rules to winner's break. Of course, they can do it right now. Sinks it. It's going to be a very difficult game for Anton now unless Kopinigi commits a lot of illegal break for him to win this match. Kopinigi is now up by three racks, making the score 6-3 on a race to nine here at the eighth Golden Break Tournament here in Malaysia. Pause for another McDermott commercial break. We have uh, Kopini on the table. He's hoping that he doesn't do an illegal break, just like what happened to him yesterday. Jeff Deluna leading? Yeah. Jeff Deluna is leading? 6-3. Six, three. Six, three. Who's leading? Jeff Deluna? Uh, oh, okay. So Jeff DeLuna is uh, trailing by three, three racks. Oh, wow. I knew it. He had that problem yesterday. Another illegal break. Okay, with me here is the upcoming player from the Philippines, hailing from Lucena City, Mark Ryan. Mark Ryan. You are now on round of 16, so don't commit those mistakes. If you're watching, make sure don't commit so many illegal breaks, Mark. I can. Dagayin ko sir. Dagayin ko yung makakaya ko. Saka napag-aralan ko naman na yung break para hindi ako mag-illegal break. That's good. That's Mark Ryan from the Philippines. He's waiting for his opponent. He'll be uh, on the table around 4 p.m., right? 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. And who will be your opponent? Um, Lu Pinyi. Oh, yeah, the, the former champion. Yeah, yeah, former champion of Golden. Yeah, you will see from Chinese Taipei. Yeah. That's going to be another uh, good game. And uh, Gomez, Roberto Gomez, lost yesterday against that guy. And at 4 p.m., our Mark Ryan Hidalgo will be playing against. Julie C, former former Golden Break champion, stays in the same province with Kevin Cheng in Taiwan. This is going to be a difficult shot for Kopini, I'm sure. He will just do a defensive shot. He 
Is he going to give a free shot to Anton? Not really sure if nine is covering the two. Yes, it's a difficult position. But I think you can see it. Yeah, he's shooting it for the corner. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Anton has got eagle eyes. He can see it clearly. We cannot because we only have one camera angle position. But Anton can see the two on the corner. And now he's on fire. Anton is on fire. He wants to bring home the bacon. Should be an easy run out for Anton. He has to put some pressure to uh, the former number one player in the world, Mr. Coping Yi. Anton Raga, 19 year old, Batang Tirador. Yes, Batang Tirador from the Philippines is responsible together with red cube billiards in doing this live streaming and you're enjoying it Anton is gonna cut this ball it's gonna do one or two rails to reach the seven, round seven. Oh, he's, what a perfect shot by Anton. He didn't want to play with the rails because of the walks that they put. The less you hit the rails, the better it is. The ball is very slippery due to the walks. So you have to be careful in hitting those rails. Anton goes for the corner and look at him Anton is on fire yes Anton sinks that ninth ball and now you hear the applause let's pause for a commercial break smiling he's not smiling but he's on fire Anton sinks the one and he's got a clear shot on the two no problem balls he should be able to do a run out here and give pressure to Kopinyi enough the former number one player in the world 